The market so bad that Wells Fargo is getting out of it entirely. Hugh, is that how we should read this story, or is there more to it? Well, that's not untrue, Kelly. Um, I mean, so part of it is that the market has collaped. Uh, interest rates much higher still. Uh, in the third quarter, the, uh, the Wells Fargo mortgage volume was down about 60%. Wow. I think for the 4Q, it's going to be even worse than that because the year-over-year -year comp is going to look scary. Um, so that's the proximate sort of reason. Then you look at sort of the bigger picture. Um, their peers, uh, Bank of America and J.P. Morgan, have already sort of fled the market because they consider it too risky. Uh, if you remember the financial crisis in which uh, mortgages played a central sort of key risk oh, and role, sure. um, you know, the, the regulation got a lot uh, harsher and, and they would call it onerous. So as a result, they left and Wells Fargo stuck around in the party because they were making a lot of money on this until basically, you know, they started giving back that money in the form of fines, a uh, series of OCC, exactly. Fed, CFPB, one thing after the other. About, servicing, about their performance in servicing these mortgages and in, in collecting and, and uh, executing on the payments and the foreclosures, in which they had troubles. So they're getting out of this business. <clears throat> Someday it will come back. It may take decades, I don't know, at this point. But are they going to regret the move, or did they lay out kind of a roadmap for why they're going to be in better shape by jettisoning it entirely? I don't think they're going to regret it because uh, if you look at their, their peers, uh, it is a much smaller part of the business on purpose. I think it's as a part of a diversified universal bank, it makes sense for it to be a smaller part of their business because of the cyclicality of it. However, I think what, what's going to be left behind is uh, a mortgage market that's dominated by non-bank players. And there are concerns about, you know, from a consumer standpoint, um, you know, the less fact name that, recognition, less name, less regulation. And the fact that if you deal with these uh, independent brokers, are you getting uh, perhaps the best prices on, on the quotes? Are you getting the same kind of data security? And I've been told not really. I, those are excellent points. I, we, look, we've all been through this process recently and we've had some familiarity with that. You really have to know the market quite well in order to and, and that's with the best information you might have. Um, the choice that brought us possible choices you might have and for a lot of people that even is restricted and will be more so after this move. So, Hugh, thank you very much for your reporting on it.